good morning everyone and welcome back to another vlog so um i woke up again this morning with an awful migraine i don't really know what's coming over me but i keep getting like migraines when i wake up and it like stops me from doing everything anything for ages so i have to go back to sleep like to sleep it off it's so shit i've had an ice pack on my head for about an hour i took some like tablets and stuff and it's, i seem to be like um recovering quite well now that i've had my sleep um, i've done my makeup um i've got my fake tan on if you've seen yesterday's vlog and it's come off really good when i've been in the shower so yeah really happy with that and i also filed my nails down if you saw how long they were yesterday i am just about to do my hair and then go meet carrie because we're having like a nice little blogger day in town so yeah um i'll bring you along hopefully you enjoy um seeing what we get up to and I'll catch up with you in a bit. Look who I'm with. Little Kaz. Little Carrie B. Little Carrie B. Wait, why can't we see you? Oh, there we go. And um, we're both fake tanned up. We're both all ready you with our so suitcases. Much than me. Do I? Mm. Mm. Um, yeah, we've got our little suitcases. Layers. Love that. Layers, layers on layers. <coughs> and we're just heading to the top of Steep Hill. In a taxi for yeah. once in a life. Yeah. Up in our game. Up it's in our very game. windy. Mm -hmm. My eyelashes were almost oh, flying off oh, on the way here. With you. Yeah. The 60 minutes is <laughs> <laughs> What is this situation? <laughs> you just had the rain, is it? Like... <laughs> Right, so me and Carrie are actually in 200 degrees now. We've come because it's like a new coffee shop in Lincoln. I ended up getting free coffee with my boyfriend a few weekends ago before it like officially opened and it's stunning in here. Like I absolutely love the interior. And uh, they've got really cool light bulbs. You can't really see from there. Um, and they've got like cool neon signs. Um, just waiting for Carrie to get changed. She's just in here. Um, yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I'm just waiting, waiting for Carrie, she's in the toilet. And then we're gonna go downstairs and grab a drink because it's been quite a stressful day. Um, I'll explain a little bit more later, but yeah, I'm feeling very tired and worn out. We just bumped into Amy as well, actually. I'm going to see her tomorrow because we're gonna have a little study date, so that should be fun. Wee! Mine and Farry's. <laughs> Mine and Carrie's first 200 degrees. Woo! They're super lovely. Um, the staff are really nice to came in. And Nice metal straws, we love that. Great. It's really cute in here as well. It's the interior. <laughs> Woohoo, we're finally back home. Cute. Just want to say about the day. <laughs> God, we've even... had, we've just explained to Carrie's boyfriend. Let me just shut it down because I think my neck's going to snap. Okay. <laughs> Um, we've had a bit of an ordeal throughout the whole day, which is why, honest, yeah, maybe. which is why I haven't really vlogged much. I feel like because we've been like so overwhelmed, like to the point where I actually cried today. Yeah, Carrie's cried today. Um, not and for long. Not like no, I cry, no. but it got a bit <laughs> got a bit emotional. So I'm not even joking. It's actually been really stressful. I laugh about yeah. it now. It's really been yeah. We've been laughing because we're trying to like make it a joke. Yeah, instead but of it's crying. just been like really. It was so windy. Like, yeah, I feel like so ridiculous. drained. Like I know it seems so stupid because yeah. I know the whole f the, f the thought of us going out like to, r yeah. to people who are not just into to this take thing, photos. It's to like, take oh, photos. Oh it's like, God. yeah, you smell amazing with that smoothie. You literally just breathe like pure mango on me. It's lush. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, it seems so weird to go out and take photos, but we both live very busy lives. Like you're, you've got your full time yeah. job. I'm full time uni student, so it's really hard to yeah. like go out and take a photo every day in a different outfit so sometimes we have to bulk do them so that we can like upload them to like, blog posts like and... lewis is quite good at taking photos but like in general it works quite well going with each other because we both know like what kind of vibe we're going for yeah so to find time where we can both do something is yeah. like virtually impossible yeah so we knew today was going to be windy but we're like oh we'll manage yeah because um, we don't get to do this very often yeah, at all. so we like, just had to do it we're trying to force like trying to get it was just oh wow look at that Love that. Um, um, but yeah, it was just literally so windy to the yeah. point where like it, honestly, so many things went wrong today. But yeah. I know obviously in the grand scheme of things, it's not the worst thing that could yeah. be happening to us. But it was just so I had so much that I wanted yeah. to like. We get just done. bigged it all up, yeah. didn't we? I think, and I think that I don't know. Nothing was going right. Like, At the beginning, we yeah. planned went wrong basically, and like it was so windy. Like I, at one point, I got something in my eye, and I actually couldn't see. Yeah, <laughs> and like it was stressing me out so much because I couldn't even in my eye. My eyelash, your eyelashes blew off. Yeah, my eyelashes blew off right at the beginning yeah. as well. Right near the beginning. Like, so I didn't want to do I was, like, blind in one eye, basically, because I couldn't see. So I was, like, hobbling along. But it was so windy that I couldn't even <laughs> yeah, my feet stop were burning. to, like, sort out. Like, I couldn't ask you what was in it because there was just so much yeah. wind going on. Um, Got charged so much in Burger King when we just oh wanted, God. like, a tiny little thing. <laughs> we were... 
six chicken nuggets to, sh to share <laughs> five pounds <laughs> and, and i just didn't and think coke, yeah and, and i coke. just didn't think about it because i was so tired just, like, like contactless. i just contactless it like nah. and then we looked on the app that i had on my phone already and it was like 99p, 99p for nine, nine nuggets nine. and then we could have got a drink for what like one can't be or something, asked i can't be asked and then my chicken nugget was grim anyway which yeah i had an artery <laughs> Oh my god, my laugh is <laughs> too much. I'm really ill as well. I'm poorly. Yeah. Um, anything else? What else happened? There's um, so many things. I nearly lost my all my cards. Oh yeah, you did. It was like the same Oh, your skirt was falling out. Oh <laughs> so your whole vagina my was out. My skirt button didn't like do up. So it was just like a tie wrap around and... Um, yeah. It just weren't working, was it? The wraparound was like falling down. My everything was out. The place you wanted to go for lunch was closed, and so that like ruined our plans. Yeah, and that's what was, we like, were most looking That was base camp. Yeah, base camp. We're so gutted. <sighs> and the suitcase, it's just so windy and steep pen and stuff with the suitcases was just stress. It was just yeah. stressful, wasn't it? And when some stuff goes wrong, it's like so mm. hard. And just taking the photos was so hard, wasn't it? Because it was so windy. Yeah, yeah like just it the hair like really all over our face. It was really draining, like just yeah. battling the wind all day. And I know that seems stupid, but yeah. when you're out for like a full day and that wind, it's yeah. so strong because it's yeah. like a proper storm, isn't it? At the minute. I'm just so happy that right now there's no hair in my eyes or in my mouth. Yeah. I'm just stressed at walking back because I know it's long. I've never my eyelashes off, to be fair. This is really not great angles for me. Nor me, Never so. like my cherub top. Like, yeah. <laughs> Didn't get learned. to shoot that no. one, but learned. at least if everyone else can appreciate it, it'll be great. Oh, stress. Okay, anyway. Go check out our Instagrams. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I've cried. I've literally cried over this. Oh, my God. <laughs> what are we doing? What are we like? Right, so I am now in bed. I've got all my makeup off. I'm feeling a lot more fresh and oh, I was just, me and Carrie were just honestly exhausted after today. I know it's not even like a big of a deal, but we just, we was, it was just such a weird thing. Just like loads of things were going wrong earlier. So we were both like, Ugh. we kept going from like a really bad mood to a really good mood and stuff. Um, but we've got lots of content shot for our blogs and just to clear up again, like what me and Carrie were saying. So we went out to take lots of like outfit pics for like our blogs, um, which might seem strange to some people. Like I, I get why it would, because if you're not in like into social media or you don't have like a blog or anything, I it would be like, why the fuck are they going out and taking like photos in loads of random outfits? But um, I like on my blog now, when I write like lifestyle posts, I always like to have fashion images, so clothes that I'm loving at the minute, clothes that I like wearing, just so you can see my style, and then obviously I use those photos for Instagram as well, to like help promote like blog posts, and also just to show you um, cl like clothing I'm loving at the minute, and just sh showing you how I style pieces, so I just thought I'd clear that up, because it would be so weird, like I completely understand why it would be so weird to someone who doesn't like understand why you need to make content, but like I always feel so much pressure, I know... I shouldn't because I know no one else is putting pressure on my on me. I'm just putting pressure on myself to constantly upload stuff because literally like this sounds so crazy but if I literally don't upload to Instagram in 2 days, 30 followers lost. I don't know why or what happens but like I literally like drop by 30, 20 um every couple of days if I don't upload. So I always feel like a pressure to make sure I'm creating good quality content and I know it's stu like seems so stupid but when I'm trying to like build a online platform um that I'm just really enjoying t like doing like I know it's not everyone's cup of tea but I just really enjoy doing it so it's really disheartening when I like lose people and I just get worried about my content and stuff so that hopefully that helps people understand why we go out a little bit more to like shoot photos and stuff but yeah I'm just about to get into bed listen to some podcasts whilst I fall asleep um I will see you tomorrow because I'm going to have a very productive day. Today has been very productive for like all my blog, YouTube, online content and stuff. However, I need to get on with some uni work. So tomorrow that is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing lots of bits and pieces that I need to do in the, need to do in the house in the morning. Like washing my clothes and tidying up and hoovering and stuff. And then I am going to go to uni. I have two hours but they're really spaced out so I'm actually going to have a little study date with Amy. I think we might be going to 200 degrees which is where me and Carrie went today. It was so lovely in there but me and Carrie went in a little bit later so it was a bit dark and dim and um, so it'll be nice like going in there to study I think because it's just like a really rustic like lovely like place so I feel like it'll be really chill to study in so yeah can't wait to go there tomorrow with Amy. 
and then have like four hours of solid work doing before I go in for my final hour at five till six I think it is it should be a long day of doing lots of work so yeah I will see you in the morning bye good morning everyone and welcome back to the second part of this vlog so it's Thursday and I have two lectures today like I said yesterday they're really spaced out so I'm going to do some revision with Amy which is fun uh, I've just popped on an outfit I'm just about to do my makeup but my hair has kept really well from yesterday I quite like the loose curls um, quite enjoying them I think they are really nice and I am wearing this just thought I'd do a little outfit of the day so I've got this uh, you can't really see very well I've got this lemon and white striped like jumper sweater thing with a half zip from H&M and then I've got on my cargo trousers from Urban Outfitters they're very creased but um sorry about that and then I think I'm gonna put on my either my new balance or my nude Nike Air Maxes um, but yeah, I'm just about to do my makeup. I'm really excited to go see Amy today and get some work done It'll make me feel a lot more productive and then I'm sure later me and Megan are go going to the gym So yeah, it should be a fun day you, I'm watch just watching the end of Amy's vlog because I didn't get to watch it yesterday Just done my makeup and I'm just about to head to uni I'm literally so excited to see Amy and just have a little catch up because I feel like it's always so long when we when, Between when we see each other even though it's probably only like a few weeks. So yeah, I'm just very very excited to see her I'm just gonna head to uni now. The sun is out today. I don't know if it's gonna be as windy as yesterday Honestly, we got me and Carrie got dragged like we look like we Dra got dragged through a hedge backwards as soon as we left the house so I don't even know how we managed to do photos yesterday because it was just crazy but I'm so glad we powered through because I edited all the photos really nicely and I just I'm just really proud of how they've like all come out and um, so yeah very very happy about yesterday's shoot and yeah I'm just I'm just in such a good mood recently I definitely think my tablets are something that is making me like this like, I feel like the best version of myself I ever have been so yeah, um, hopefully it carries on like this, and yeah, I don't know, I just, I just, I'm, I'm overwhelmed with how happy I always am, and like, I always see the positive side of a situation, how I used to in like first year, because I think first year, because it was so out of my comfort zone, I just, was just really like, I was just weirdly positive about everything, and then I sort of went downhill in second year, um, when it really hit me, like my mental health stuff, but now, yeah, I'm just in such a good mood. I literally have so many fucking assignments to do and I have, I'm feeling really stressed inside, but I'm just like, I don't know. I just feel really positive and happy about life. So that's good and I'm glad. So yeah, anyway, gonna head to uni now. Yeah. Now we're vlogging, yeah. We are out with Amy in town. You might not be able to hear us because so it's windy. so windy. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Um, but yeah, we're just heading to 200 degrees just taking some pics. Um, <laughs> I'm literally staring at us like, yeah. what are you doing? It's really, I feel, I'm not used to having the down. The down. Yeah. Controversial. <laughs> Controversial, yeah. To be fair, I'd probably prefer it up, but I just like this camera because I've tried it out a few times and stuff. And, and it's nice quality as well. Yeah. <laughs> Don't know if you can hear any of that combo. Um, but yeah, we just headed to 200 degrees. Um, me and Carrie went there yesterday, but we didn't stay for long, so it'll be nice to go in there and actually study yeah. and do some work. <laughs> Well done, and I need a nice latte so badly. I'm gonna have a matcha. Oh, if they do though. I've literally gone from not liking coffee at all to like just everything. That was me. Literally in a, like a week, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> yeah, literally as soon as I had the free coffee over there, I just started drinking it, and I've hated Love it my whole, hated it my whole life. <laughs> Just got an ice latte with soya milk and a banana and chocolate loaf cake. These are actually vegan, which I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, it looks really nice. Because you don't usually get like a vegan thing with like chocolate in like that. So yeah. And here's Amy. Yeah. I mean, that not really. So stodgy. It looks delicious. What is, what is it? Just a normal brownie? Yes. We call it an ultimate brownie. Oh, ultimate brownie. <laughs> Love that. Amy just waiting for a drink. What did you get? Under? Matcha. Matcha. <laughs> and also metal straws. Love that. Wow. Look how peng Amy's matcha latte is. Delicious.
little bit of work done, but a small bit. Yeah, but to be fair, we needed a good catch up. I've sort of almost finished my presentation that's going on here. Um, you do your dissertation right now. Yeah. Ooh, scary times. <laughs> but yeah, I just thought I'd do a little update, even though we've just been sat in the same position. And also, we've been stressed about money, the money fit. We were crying. Yeah, I literally want to die. Like, we literally had to uh, live off this money for four months. <laughs> And it's not okay because I'm currently deep in the overdraft. Pray for me, honestly. The tears but yeah, I forgot to tell people I had water for breakfast. <laughs> I had water for breakfast. Help. If anyone wants to PayPal me some money for a food shop, that would be friendly food shop. We should set up a page like, yeah. don't make Go find me. Oh no, look at that. Look at the subcubic angle. I've realised also how weird I look doing this presentation because it's like <laughs> shots of the dick. Okay, so I'm now back home from uni. It's super dark outside because I had a five till six workshop. It was actually a chemistry workshop. I was quite not nervous for it, but I was just a bit like worried because I always think that I'm really shit at chemistry. However, me and Neve cracked it today. <laughs> um, we didn't know, we literally thought we were completely wrong, but we ended up being correct with everything. We were doing NMR and like protein, protein, <laughs> proton coupling, and it actually went well, so yeah, that was good. It felt, it feels nice to like understand something and like leave a workshop, like feel like you fully get what's going on. So yeah, quite happy about that. It was so lovely seeing Amy earlier. Make sure you go check out her channel. I'll leave it down below. Um, we just, I just love having a catch up with her. She, we're just very similar people and it was just nice to sit and do some work. We didn't obviously get as much as we wanted to done because we did need to catch up, but I think we're going to do more of those little like study dates a bit more often. So um, we have time to see each other, but also we're getting stuff done. So yeah, um, that was lovely. Instagram is back up and running. It went down last night, I think, for some people. So including me. So yeah, that was a bit shit, but. Oh, I had one of these today, which is amazing. No, one of these yesterday, which is amazing. So these are the muscle food high protein lemon crunch bars these are honestly incredible today it says they're high fiber and they literally taste incredible and obviously they're good they're like way better for you than any other like snack you'd usually reach for and lemon is one of my favorite flavors so i definitely recommend checking out um the lemon crunch bars if you end up um purchasing the muscle food program if you want to know a little bit more about it I'll, I'll link down below the unboxing video i did where i explained it a little bit more and i'll leave my code down below in case anyone wants to use it to get five pounds off their subscription um but yeah i'm really really loving all the muscle food snacks i've literally been going through them very quickly and um, they're absolutely delicious i will be showing you me showing you me doing some of the workouts at some point this at the end of this week probably um which is exciting so stay tuned for that but anyway, I've had a lovely day. I am just about to sit and do a bit of editing for a while. It was really nice also, me and Amy, I think I mentioned in one of my other vlogs, but basically me and Amy um, have an event that we're going to next month and it's a Primark event um, in collaboration with another brand that's actually coming to some Primark stores, which is so exciting. I don't know if I can say right now. Um, I'm not too sure if it's like been announced, so I'm not gonna say anything just in case I get in trouble. Um, but yeah, so me and Amy are going to that like beginning of April-ish and we'll be vlogging it, so that'll be so fun. And we were just like sort of planning it and just talking about lots of stuff to do with like management and things because we're on the same management. So yeah, it was just lovely to have a catch up basically. I am just about to do some editing and I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Right, so I just thought I'd show you a few little bits that I've picked up for my scrapbook like over the past couple of weeks doing bits and pieces just to sort of like give you an idea of like how I collect stuff to stick in my scrapbook. So and one of my main things is like tickets. So if I've got a train ticket to London, then I'll keep that because then I like put it with all my photos. But like I pick up like little menus, like this is the buy Chloe menu for when me and Aidan went in to buy Chloe in London. I've got like a little bit of our Shake Shack like a thing because we ate in there one day. I've got like a little quote on there. We also went to the Body Worlds Museum, so I picked up a few little bits and pieces from here. So I cut them out and stuff and like stick them in my scrapbook. But I just thought I'd let you guys know that I get every everything from like the shops, the restaurants, everywhere I go. Like I literally pick up everything. I'm such a hoarder, but it's always great for my scrapbook. Like when I get all the pieces together because it looks so sick. So yeah, I just thought I'd let you guys know. A lot of people don't think to like pick things up like that. I also thought I should probably show you guys this watch because I didn't properly show you it the other day. So this is from a brand called Adex London. I've worked with them before, they're absolutely great. The team are so, so lovely. And I think the packaging looks so stunning and very luxurious and designer. Um, absolutely love this. I think this is a great gift idea. 
and inside we have I've got a black watch and strap here and then I've got like a brown colour I absolutely love this they always include like an extra strap in their little gift set so I think that's such a great um a great added extra and yeah this is stunning I went for black because I thought it would be classic and then it's really nice I've sent a brown one because I don't actually have like a strap this colour so it's going to go perfectly together it's going to go with all my outfits it's so practical um, and then it has like all of the little care guide and stuff in here which is great yeah I just think these are like amazing gift sets if you're looking to buy someone a bit more of an expensive purchase or just anyone who loves a good watch thought I would properly mention that because I didn't I, I didn't really show you it properly the other day so yeah I hope you guys like this how cute are these glasses me and Megan got them in Tiger for two for a pound I think it was so they were like 50p each they're really cute I've got my little pink bottoms um anyway I'm just about to take my makeup off and get into bed because it's very very late now we've just been downstairs chilling on the Wii the usual um antics of the evening um, I've had a really lovely couple of days. I hope you've enjoyed watching the vlogs because I've been doing something a little bit different than the usual just me inside revising and studying and getting stuff done. Um, make sure to hit thumbs up if you have enjoyed. Subscribe down below if you're new. Make sure to turn the bell notification on to be notified every time I upload. Tomorrow should be a good vlog because some of my family are coming down. My nan and granddad are coming down who've come down before. However, my godparents, who I absolutely love and adore, are also coming down tomorrow and they haven't actually seen Lincoln. So I'm really excited to show them around. We're gonna have a wander around the shops, I'm sure. I'm sure we're gonna be going out for dinner and they're actually gonna get me a food shop, which is could not come at a better time, to be honest, because I am fucked. Like, my money situation is so bad. Like, like I said earlier, I had water for breakfast, so love that for me. Uh, yeah, so yeah, they couldn't really come at a better time and obviously I'm not asking them to pay for it. They've, they already suggested like weeks ago when we decided they were coming that they'd buy me a food shop. So I'm really, really grateful for that and I really appreciate it. I can't wait to go and pick some nice food out, some nice cereal because I haven't had any like breakfast food over the past few days and that's what's been destroying my soul. So yeah, we're getting some nice food and life will be good. Um, so yeah, make sure you stick around for that, that vlog tomorrow and I'm sure I'll be doing lots of fun things over the weekend. Well, not fun, but I'll be doing bits and pieces. So hopefully you enjoy. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye.